and racing up now towards the second with Hank here on the stand side joining it's all very fine between them and a close third just behind. Welcome to Mr. Fisher Flip's third grade math. Our lesson today is from math expressions. We are going to be looking at tangram shapes and area. As we use tangram shapes to find the areas of figures, we're going to be looking at what a tangram is. As we get started today, let's look at any time problem. We look, see that Pat wants to make a rectangular card with a perimeter of 12 inches. How many different cards can Pat make? that have a different length and width. And so if you recall, I like to take the perimeter and only find one side and one length. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide 12 by 2 and that equals 6. All I need to do is to find the different add-ins that add up to 6. So something plus something equals 6. And then we can also find 6 equals something plus something to find the other square. Now if we start out, we know that 6 plus 0 does equal 6, but 0 equals a line, and we don't want that. So 0 doesn't work. Let's try 1 plus 5, and let's add it up. 1 plus 5 equals 6, plus 1 more is 7, plus 5 more is 12. So the perimeter going all the way around is 12 inches. Let's go to the next number. We tried 1, let's try 2. 2 plus 4 equals 6. So 2 and 4, and we can add that up. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 2 plus 4 equals 12. So if we did this again, we would actually get 3 plus 3. But let's look back at this. It says that Pat wants to make a card that has a different length and width. Can a square work in this case? No, a square cannot. So our answers are 5 and 1 and 4 and 2. So we did a good job on that. One thing I'd like you to do is practice your time. Get out an analog clock, a paper clock, or do this with a parent or a grandparent and see if you can actually tell how much time it will be until lunchtime or how much time will it take to go to the post office. You can actually practice elapsed time by practicing telling time to the nearest minute. So practice if you can. Well today's lesson is going to concentrate on tangrams of course. And if we look at this tangram, we're going to try and put this one together. Tangram puzzles began in ancient China. In fact, they began because the royal court was having trouble putting uh, their tables out to decorate. And so they were using these tangram puzzles to help them understand spatial awareness. The concept behind the puzzles is to use spatial visualization to fill an outline with tangram shapes. We take what I just did, but we always start with these shapes. Part of your homework tonight will be able to see if you can create one of these other shapes. And by doing that, there's going to be some online ways to do this also. And one of the ways is going to be through the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. And if you look down here on the third grade, there is a tangram box. You can click on that and find the seven Chinese puzzle pieces to make shapes and solve problems. And I'll have those as links underneath the, the video today. This homework page will provide you with more practice in working with tangram shapes and areas. So you'll be able to take this home and cut this out. And then you'll have to follow the directions here and see if you can make some of the shapes. With remembering the second part of the page, I'll make sure that this gets printed off correctly this week. You'll be able to see that it's just a review of some of the things that we've already done in months past. Another thing that you'll be able to do is see if you can do this with a paint or a paint program. See if you can draw all the quadrilaterals that you know of and you can label them. You can also make it into a game if you'd like and you can print it off and see if your friends can figure out the shapes that you've created. Students can make a design using different styles and quadrilaterals and you notice that's not a quadrilateral. What is that? That's a triangle. This is your homework. It's pretty easy. Color the two large triangles, purple, green, etc. And then you have to cut out the tangram pieces and see if you can make some tangram shapes. And so as you cut out the tangram pieces, you'll be able to figure out 
some other shapes that you can make. And it will be really fun if you can bring some of those ideas back to class and share them with the rest of us. And here's the other part of the homework. Notice it's uh, just story problems, using the table, and finding the perimeter or area. Well, one of the things I've noticed is that people have made the t tangrams and they've actually put them into stop motion animation. So they took the seven piece tangram and they actually made it into a movie. Notice I've got a couple videos that we'll be able to watch in class. Here are the 10 gram games that I've uh, been able to find. There is Cyber Chase, there's ABC Waya, there's the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives, the Math Playground, Primary Games. So some very fun games that we'll be able to try out this week. I will list these on the website so that if you want to, you can actually go to the website and not have to type these long URL addresses out. So these Sandgram games will actually help you with spatial visualization. So when and where did you watch the video? Sum up what you saw and write a question. Now, instead of writing a question, I actually want you to bring back a Tangram. So instead of just bringing back a question, I want you to bring back a Tangram that you don't think anybody else will have seen and see if they can figure out how to make it just like you did. So that's the one thing I'd like you to do that's different. That brings us to the end of the lesson. Remember, using Tangram shapes does help us with spatial visualization. You'll be surprised how helpful that is in geometry and within our math. Thank you and good night.